Okay, so here we are with this. I want to connect my uh, entity framework to this uh, particular uh, project. So I am connected still over here, as you can see. Okay, if you have any sort of little um, X's somewhere in there, just hit that refresh button. Um, for now, uh, I'll go forward and, and just ignore the fact that mine's called uh, people data. It's not important. Whatever yours uh, was still, uh, it's probably called form data or data form. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to right click on that and I want to go down to add new item. And in this drop down here, you're going to see all these different uh, selections. I'm interested in data and I want my entity data model. Okay, this is um, th this is basically how we're going to set up all of our uh, list of uh, tables. Okay, this is kind of like a scaffolding that's also going to build in a lot of the code uh, on our behalf that we don't have to handrolically do. It's just going to set it up uh, on its own. So right now I'm going to call this names uh, context. Okay. And it's a context, and, and we'll talk a little bit more about that after uh, we get further into this. So I go from here, and it's code first from database, okay? And that's really good for us, because we want it to set up uh, a lot of this code that we don't have to. Okay, um, notice here on mine, I did lose my connection uh, to this database. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is actually just go to a new connection. Okay, if I drop those down, that's the only one I've got available. I'm going to go to new connection. And server name. Let's see, do I have anything in there? Okay, so there's nothing in there. I hit the refresh. However, remember back here, this is in my Azure, my server name. Okay, so I want to copy this. Go back to Visual Studio, here's server name. Paste it. Okay, and I want to uh, SQL Server Authentication, Tom. Put my password. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the refresh. Okay, now there it is. Select or enter a database name. I'm still in the comp 1098. So that showed up because all of this stuff here was properly done. So I'll click, uh, click that. Okay, brings me right back to this spot here. And notice how um, this says names connection. Uh, context, I want to add the word connection. If I can spell it right and uh, hit yes and now I want to hit next okay watch this you can see all of the tables that I've actually put into the database already so make sure this is checked and then uh, hit finish so when it's all said and done this named names context should appear Okay, it's in your uh, people data, or my in my case, that's what it is. Uh, you should have this line uh, 10 and 11, and then look at these getters and setters for uh, courses, people, students, and users. Okay, it's all code that was done for you using the entity framework. Okay, this is all, it's like a scaffolding, and it's it's put on top for you. Okay, so if you've gotten to this point, you're doing really well. So I'm going to pause it here and we'll go on to the next video.